Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobskillshare.org. This is a little bit different video and this is going to be part uh, of our playlist on Jobskillshare YouTube. It's called IT Career 2019. Probably it's going to be the 15th video that I'm going to make. And sorry for my voice today. Don't know why I feel so old and kind of like out of energy. Anyways, let's get started. So this video is about can I become an IT manager? Now, the, re the the question is about and the whole video is about new person okay so let's say consider yourself you have worked in IT for a little bit or maybe you worked in IT uh, on, a, on a site where you just a little bit of help this you don't know too much or maybe you're too brand new and you looked into this this type of uh, you know job where maybe somebody didn't put too much requirements but then they put all this responsibilities and everything and you're like huh should I go to jobskillshare.org and just take some courses and just become a manager so my suggestion my opinion on this nope not at all uh, you can't do this job uh, uh, if you're going to be managing technical people under you let's say two or three or four or five or a big team of technical people under you um, unless you have some type of project management type of certifications and and if you do have that I swear uh, people won't be coming to me and asking me that you know um, I need help with a manager level position because you know they teach you so much stuff that I feel like my video will not make any sense so this video is going to be just kind of like, you know, making my own point over here to to uh, some of our members or users. And I, I want to be very fair to them also. Like I don't want to for for them to waste their money or time in, in a platform where where something cannot be achieved. Now, unless I basically say unless in my videos, when I do like suggestions and everything that your scenario could be different, you may know people, you may have got a really good positive response from somebody and they may have given you some type of hint that it's okay that you can become manager in our platform or company or whatever you know so that's a total different case like like i said my first video about this career related uh, videos is that you can become an it person regardless of your education or whatever you know you can get in so i but i say that there's consequences and that's why i made the whole list on that so please watch that so in this in this can i become an it manager first let's go ahead and what they're talking about you know so the manager will ensure that the help the staffs are meeting and exceeding expectation regarding overall performance meeting meeting defined metrics benchmarks and service levels and that standard and processes are being followed the manager will also develop help desk metrics and standards that are based on itsm framework so this is very very important specifically if you're working in in the US uh, UK Australia you know this side of area if you're working in this type of area Canada then they the, the framework is pretty famous over here for manager level as soon as you get off from that help desk or the system administration or network engineering level and you're trying to become that manager then you're going to see this this ITSM ITIL you're going to see this Trust me, in almost every, uh, you know, second job description, you're going to see this. So then, you know, if you don't know anything about this framework and you go to the interview and they ask you about something about even the foundations of this, and if you can't answer it, then I'm definitely sure they're not going to give you this job because you don't know the the pretty big thing that they're they're, they're kind of focusing on this. They they're, they're, they want they want they want you to know about this stuff because that's how. Uh, you know, they have uh, told the HR people that look for this stuff, you know, so So that's the first thing, you know, you need to ha you need to have knowledge about some type of framework uh, And then you know some of the key points over here overall performance meetings service levels and and are you? Uh, so you, you have to also think about what type of job do you like because don't just go for the money because the thing is this we have in our platform some people have been in manager management position for almost 15 years we have actually a blog on that too so a person was actually in that for almost 15 years and then he or she forgot all of the you know the technical skills and lost the manager level job and now uh, the person was actually he was actually looking for the entry-level job again because he 15 is just too much and once you become a manager remember you're not doing too much technical work even though you may at some point may know a lot 
but once you become a manager and you get used to this management side then you need to decide do you like management or do you like the technical stuff me personally i always love the technical side i don't like the management side you know that's kind of something that my personal side that's not on that you know because the soon as soon as i become a manager or i become into I get involved in that then my technical skills go you know like i feel like it's it's not working for me so you have to also make a very good decision on this side that is this something that you like do you like working with people you're going to have people asking for off you're going to have you're going to have to fire people you have to you're going to have to hire people you have you have to have a really good control over meetings you have to have a really good good control over your team you know they have to trust you you have to build that trust with your team members if you want to stay in this it's not just about you you know you have to really make a really good positive impressions on or or or, or basic communication with your own team uh, for you to work get your work done because your team is going to be involved in so many things then how do you manage that you know how do you make sure that everybody in your team gets uh, a, a kind of like you know a, a balanced work so there's not one person complaining look i'm doing everything but what what is what is the other person doing something like that will definitely come back on you you know because then you will have a director you will have a you know even upper level p- people then they're they're basically bugging you that okay what's going on over here you know i need i need i need this thing done so remember you're you're in a lot of pressure over there uh, it's not just about you know you got some technical where you know in, in a help desk position or system admin or network engineering positions of course we do work we work hard some of the jobs are really really hard some of the jobs are awesome but you know it's not like you're not going to be going to the meetings and always basically uh, you know under someone watch like that you know so y- this is a very busy position so that's why I want to make sure that you understand uh, where you can y- you get uh, you basically need to know that what you you're going for okay so now going down basically all of this other stuff that I just explained is the same thing like you know like um uh, understanding communication you know all the framework again they're they're basically talking about that um uh, you know some kind of performance system you need to uh, you need to basically work on different type of applications where you can take a feedback give a feedback give some goals and you know you need to learn how do how do you know manage these type of applications also uh you also need to be doing some type of you know more of writings and you have to write policies sometimes you may be a manager for a lot of different things security everything could be under you so then you have to work a lot on the training side also you have to create policies then you have to work with your security administrators if you don't have one then you are the security admin so you know you think about that stuff too you know it's not just about you managing your own help the staff it's definitely more than that if you work for bigger companies so at the end if you come down you know even though you know that at a, man- at a manager level you're not working on very small things like adding people or adding user or resetting passwords or imaging computers but look look most of these uh, the uh, the positions that you will work on they will say managers need to have an expert level of uh, experience even though the manager is not doing much in this area but they still expect you because what if let's say something happen a pretty bad scenario that where you have uh, your two two of your helpless staff people left uh, you know and they said those were the two helpless people and now you are the, the another the the IT person in line and everybody's going to be looking at you okay so you were the expert right you are the manager you should know everything so remember you they want you to know stuff even though uh you are not working on this stuff and that's why i said that it's it's kind of easy that w- when they will put something like that at expert level expert level on all these description but when you start your job and you spend 5 years in management and you don't even touch uh, the computers anymore you were working on a xp at some point and now people are working on windows 10 you know a little bit here and there but your expert level uh, you know people are under you and some somehow they are gone now and you're like whoa i i don't have i I don't have a clue about windows 10 you know how how did they even manage there was just so much work done yes i was involved in the meetings and everything but i wasn't involved in that teeny mini tiny things when they were doing all that settings and everything i don't know this stuff so remember this is where you need to make a decision and my videos remember for people who are brand new and they're 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 thinking I'm just going to go apply to these positions so you 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 know what you're going up against even if you get this job then are you are you going to be able to take this type of stress if you're not going to be able to take this type of stress then I hope you don't become one of those people where where you 
land a job somehow and after three months you get so stressed and and you basically start you know basically saying something about it it is the worst position ever and all that kind of stuff not to be directed against anyone i'm just saying that you know people do come uh you know to that conclusion about careers that's the re the reason is that they haven't started it correctly so now the question would be where can i get where can, where can i get where can, can i learn where can i learn all these skills then you know uh, of course our site is full of it if you if you are going to be learning that technical side and understanding the ticketing systems and all that and if you're brand new to it then definitely you're going to be starting or, you know, on these courses you're going to go to job skill share start with the help desk course active directory ticketing system office 365 and all of this is also mentioned in this description um, i feel like every time when we uh, open a description i feel like we have covered almost 80 to 70 percent active directory office 365 windows 7 8 10 imaging Here's a go imaging remote stuff. So all of this is already covered in our courses. So if you want to lower that technical side, then of course you're going to be starting with those type of uh, courses. And if you have premium or plus membership, then of course you can even go a little bit further with the lab videos that are here. These are powerful videos, a lot of videos, new videos. And then even if you want to take it to a next level, then of course you can, when you become a premium member, you have access to all these labs and then you have something like uh, access to the 241 courses right now from our learning uh, portal, which is our partner. And, and this is where you're going to be learning that uh, management skills also. Like if you, let's say for example, you wanted to know about ITSM. So you're gonna come here, go to s the category, IT service management and then basically I would suggest you to start the ITIL foundation if you click on ITIL foundation introduction to ITSM then that's the power of jobscareshare.org you know we, we, we're saying we're not just a content provider we are advisors with a lot of different content and then we bring everything to you you can pick and choose stuff in, in our platform it's not just one platform to uh, just putting courses in there it's different type of uh, services that we're providing to you so then you become a complete IT professional so at the end you're going to be basically looking into stuff like this if you want to become an IT manager of course after this is going to be project management side you do need to know about project management uh, you know because you you work with so many projects but people people may ask you questions about do you know do you have any project management certification or do you know any projects you know have you done any projects so you can basically say something cool about your certification um, so that would be my video on the manager level position if you're brand new and you're considering this position thank you and if I did any mistake let me know if you like this video make sure to let me know also thank you bye